Hey guys and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to apply pave techniques that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's take a look at this surface here. You can see that it is a very very complex surface and most of you that work in jewelry, uh, some of you might not have the uh, matrix or the rhino gold plugin uh, I personally do not need it because I am capable of applying pave using simply just rhino and one of the tools that I use is just simply orienting curves on a surface extruding them and creating the seats from scratch I can also apply the azures on the on the back if I wanted to. Uh, one of the challenges is the ability to extrude the cutters in different directions when they're applied on the surface. So let me give you an example of what I mean. Okay. So I'm going to go here and select the, the point, the curve, which is going to be the cutter, which is blue, and the red, which symbolizes the border, which is point to so when I do a pave layout, the distance between each stone is 0.2. So let me show you what I mean. So I'll select everything. We'll type in orient on surface. Then we'll select the point, then pull out in any direction. We'll select the surface and hit OK. And make sure in the command line you want to hit copy set to yes. So there's our curve that is ready to be copied onto the surface. I'll go ahead and start with one uh, curve here. Then just simply hover until the border goes in but doesn't intersect into the red, just like that. So now you can start to create your stagger just like this. And you can see how quickly we can create a really nice looking layout. Okay, so I'm just going to do a few, just so you can get the idea. Okay, you can see that it's applying nicely. Just like that, it's very good. From here, go ahead and select uh, let's put some more. All right, so that should be enough. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Escape to get out and delete this group of curves. Now, you, we don't need the the red curve and the point, so I'm going to go to the temp file, which I had it before, and just simply delete it. You can see now that we have uh, quite a few curves that we need to uh, extrude to create our seat or the cutter for the stones. Uh, most of you will probably select one curve at a time and just hit extrude and I don't know, some of you will type in 0.5 and go to the next one and the next one and the next one. Again when you have over a hundred stones this is something that is not uh, ideal in the workflow so uh, most of you will say hey just select everything and extrude it but that's not going to work because it goes in one direction see so the challenges that I've uh, come across that I want to show you is uh, speeding up the process if I may explain it in better terminology so um, uh, asked around I asked a lot of people is there a way we can extrude these curves all at the same time without having to uh, do them one at a time is there a script is there a Python script is there something so I went to the Rhino McNeil uh, forum. You can see it's discourse.mcneil.com. Make a free account. Um, there's a lot of talented people here that will answer questions. Uh, you could share your problems, ask uh, questions about, you know, is there a script? Is there not a script? Is there a tool? Is there not a tool? Anyway, so what I did is I went in here and I just typed in uh, extrude multi because I wanted to extrude multi curves. So I looked in here and I found uh, this wonderful little uh, 
topic here. It's called extrude multiple curves. So I think everyone in my industry had the same thought and I just went ahead and clicked on it. You can see extrude multiple objects, which also means curves or solids in different planes. That's exactly what I was looking for. All right, so I saw people asking, answering, guessing, blah, blah, blah. And when you keep going down, over time, someone decided, hey, let me just write a script. So let's give a shout out to Jeff Hammond. Uh, not sure where he works, but let's give him some props. Again, uh, you can always message him if you want to get more information on how he figured it out. But it's a Python script. Okay, and here's the script. So all you have to do is download it. You can just uh, click it. It will download right into your desktop. Uh, I put mine in the documents folder. So I'm going to show you how it works. And you'll find it to be very, very helpful uh, in your process when you're modeling. It doesn't always have to be jewelry. It could always be something else that has to do with uh, curves or objects in different planes. So what, I, what I mean by plane is you could see the normal of this curve. For those that don't understand, is uh, this curve is going in this direction. This curve is going in this direction. There's no way you could extrude in different uh, directions of the normal of the curve. So uh, let's go ahead and put this to test. I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so select all the curves that you want to extrude at the same time. You're going to type in PYT, which uh, is short for... Uh, run python script okay so just type in pyt or run it should give you the prompt to run the python script okay you can see that i put it in the documents folder uh, i put a cad parts uh, section and you can see here's the script that i downloaded off uh, jeff hammond's response we'll select the script hit open and this is how it works okay it's going to take a minute to load or a few seconds uh, it's very simple how the questionnaire asks you. Do you want to make it solid? Yes. Do you want to go both directions? Sure. And do you want to delete what you extrude? This is something that's up to you. I usually say yes, so yes. And when you're done, just hit enter. And now we wanted a 0.5 uh, cut right into the surface because that's how I initially create my uh, seats for this. Uh, stones if I'm making jewelry. Um, the only downside is do not uh, calculate um, the offset by typing in 0.5. You have to assume that uh, it's going to be uh, both directions um, and you have to double that number. So if I want 0.5 you're going to type in 1. Okay. And when you're done just simply hit enter and look what happens. Alright so I'll hit enter and look at all those curves magically extrude in different directions it's such an amazing feature um, uh, gotta give this guy props alright I'm not taking credit for it but I'm showing you how this is such an amazing tool alright and now you can just simply select the main surface run bowling difference select the cutters boom I just saved myself a ton of time in creating the seats and you can go ahead and continue the process to create the seats um, but that will be for a different part of uh, another time okay so I just want to show you that there's a wonderful tool out there that you can use to extrude multi multiple curves around along normal um, again if you like this video please hit the like button if you found uh, that there's something you want to suggest in me showing in future videos please leave a comment in the section below if you want to see more videos of course hit the subscribe button and again thank you and i'll see you guys in the next video